friends. Hi, Hi friends. friends. Hi, Hi friends. friends. Today we're gonna read, you guessed it, Poxitani Phyllis. Phyllis was not like the other groundhogs. She liked to get up in February instead of March. She liked to be outdoors instead of indoors. When spring rain soaked the earth and everyone else huddled, huddled in the burrow, Phyllis splashed in the paddles. You're sopping wet, her mother scolded. I like the way the mud feels between my toes, Phyllis explained. Her mother shook her head and said to Phyllis's father, That, that Phyllis. Phyllis. When the stream water rushed icy cold and, and fierce between the banks, Phyllis went waiting. You'll catch a cold, Auntie Patsy warned. Phyllis's mother just shook her head. That, that Phyllis. Phyllis. When August sun beat down, beat down, turning the meadow brown, Phyllis picked blackberries sweet and warm. You'll bake in the heat, Aunt Sassy cried. And guess what Phyllis's mother said? That, that Phyllis. Phyllis. When, when I, I grow up, up, I'm going, I'm to, going be to be a Puxatani Phil. Phil. Don't be silly, dear, Mother said. Puxatani Phil is a fellow. And the other grown-ups left, but Phyllis knew what she could do, even if no one took her seriously. Then, one February morning, Phyllis woke up early. She crawled out of bed, crept under the tunnel. The first light of the morning shone at the mouth of the groundhog hole. From the big pine trees came the steady drip, 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 drip of snow melting. Running water, whispering in a brook. The air was sharp, but something about it had changed. Spring, Spring was, was coming, coming early. early. She skipped down the tunnel to wait for Uncle Phil to wake up and make his prediction. Phyllis, would you quit wiggling? Complained Phil Jr. Yeah, yeah Phyllis, Phyllis, said Pete. Pete. So, so, some, some of us are, are trying, trying to sleep. sleep. How can you sleep when spring is in the air? Asked Phyllis. Phil Jr. looked at Pete. Oh, Phyllis would think spring is coming in the middle of winter, he said. It's not the middle of winter, Phyllis said. It's, it's Groundhog's Groundhog Day. Day. But Phil Jr. and Pete were already dozing off. Pretty soon, Aunt Sassy got up and tried to wake up Uncle Phil. She shook him and tugged his whiskers. She shouted and she shouted in his ear. Everyone else in the burrow woke up, but Uncle Phil kept right on snoring. What's, What's all, all the, the ruckus? ruckus? asked the old grandpa groundhog. It's, it's Groundhog's Groundhog Day, Day, said Aunt Sassy. And, and Phil's still, still asleep. asleep. I'm afraid he's getting too old for the job. I'll, I'll do, do it. it, said Phyllis eagerly. Everyone laughed. Puxatani Phil had never been a girl, said Pete. And, and never, never will, will be, be, Phil Jr. taunted. Nobody's going to get the job until Phil gives it up, said Aunt Sassy. Now, now how, how are we going, going to, to wake, wake him up? up? Don't snow on him, Phyllis suggested. Good, Good idea, idea, said Aunt Sassy. And... It worked. Uncle Phil grumbled. It's time to get up, said Aunt Sassy. It's, 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 it's Groundhog's, Groundhog's Day. Day. I'm sleepy, complained Uncle Phil. If you're too tired, said Phyllis, I'd be happy to do your job for you. Phew! <laughs> Harumph! Replied Uncle Phil. Not just anyone can be a Puxatani Phil. I'm, I'm not, not just, just anyone, anyone, said Phyllis. Is your name Phil? asked Phil. No, no. Phyllis admitted. But Puxatani Phil's real name isn't always Phil. Yes, well, grumbled Uncle Phyllis. But were you born on Groundhog's Day? I was born the day after, said Phyllis. Not, not good, good enough, enough, said Uncle Phil. Besides, Besides you are a girl. girl. When the time comes, one of the young fellows will fit the ticket. Phil Jr. and Pete smirked. They can't even feel that spring is in the air, said Phyllis scornfully. We'll never have an early spring, said Uncle Phil. In all my years as Pakistani Phil, it's never happened once. It's going to happen this year, Phyllis said stubbornly. Auntie Patsy chuckled. That's, That's Phyllis, Phyllis, she said. Phyllis wished people would stop saying that. Phyllis, come up with me and see what the world looks like in February, said Uncle Phil. Then you will know that I'm right. Phyllis couldn't believe her luck. They walked up the long tunnel and emerged into the light. Uncle Phil sat up on his hind legs and sniffed the air. Just what I thought, he said. Six, Six more weeks, weeks of winter. winter. Early, Early spring, spring, insisted Phyllis. Look at all the snow, said Uncle Phil. I feel cold. The snow is melting, said Phyllis. The water is running in the brook. Uncle Phil tilted his head. And listened. So, so it is, is, he said softly. I don't hear as well as I used to. The chickadees are singing their spring song, said Phyllis. I've never heard the chickadees on Groundhog's Day, said Uncle Phil. Oh, look, Uncle Phil. No shadows. My eyes aren't as clear as they used to be, said Uncle Phil. And don't you smell the sweetness of the spring, asked Phyllis. Uncle Phil sniffed. <laughs> Just a hint. He murmured. And there's something else, said Phyllis. She finally figured out what had felt different about the morning air. Feel, Feel the, the wind. wind. It's 
from the West. A spring zephyr. Well, I'll be, said Uncle Phil. Phyllis, Phyllis was, was right. right, Uncle Phil announced. When they return to the burrow, we are going to have an early spring. It's time for me to retire. Who will be our next Puxatawney Phil? asked Aunt Patsy. I will, said Phil Jr. No, no I, I will, will, said Pete. Sorry, Sorry boys. boys, said Uncle Phil. You've missed the signs, too. You can't mean, blurted Phil Jr. Yes, boys, said Uncle Phil. This time, the best Phil for the job is Phyllis. Yay! Yay! And, what and what about, about the, the rules? rules? Whined Phil Jr. and Pete. If Mother Nature can bend the rules once in a while, said Uncle Phil. We can too. Phyllis heard the water in the brook and the songs of the birds. She saw that there were no shadows and she felt the, zes the spring zephyr. That's, That's Phyllis, Phyllis, said her mother proudly. Phyllis grinned and said, Pucks Pucks a Phyllis. Phyllis. All right, everyone. Remember to be safe and always read books.